the vagina, the vajayjay, the vag, down there, all words to describe a body part that is actually called a vulva. It's the key to understanding a woman's sexuality. Maximizing a woman's pleasure and her health starts with calling this important body part what it is. I'm Dr. Logan Levkoff, and I'm about to introduce you to the vulva on Mom Ed in the Bedroom. I'd like you to meet Jill and her fiance, Mark. Between them, they are raising four teenagers. But even if you've had kids, even if you've had lots of sex, you may not know everything there is to know about each other's bodies. So you could even be missing lots of pleasure. Jill, how much do you know about the female anatomy? I think I know enough, the important things, enough to have two kids and have great sex. <laughs> Mark? How, how well versed are you in female anatomy? Um, I don't think I know the names of some parts or where they are, but I, I think I know it more by touch. That's a good answer. So tell me, we have this beautiful <laughs> illustration behind us. What is this? That is a vagina. Jill, what do you think? Vagina? I think it is. Ah, it is actually the vulva. Female genitals, everything outside is called the vulva. The vagina is actually inside there. Wow. What do you know? I, did anyone ever tell you that <laughs> at growing up? I don't think so. Who knew? <laughs> well, now you do. Who knew? So let us take a little trip down like Bio 101 Sex Ed Lane. OK? I am going to ask you what a part is, and you're going to tell me what you think it is. I was afraid that pointer. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I won't punish you with it, I promise. No. Okay, Mark, what is that? Hmm. I think the clip must be higher, so... You think? That would be... <laughs> I um, sure hope you... You learned so much about relationships in I, this segment. I, I don't know. That is actually the urethral opening. Uh. Women urinate out of that tiny opening. <laughs> but we can move up to some other parts. This part on the side. What would that be, Jill? Labia. That would be the labia. Which labia? Which labia? Yes. Um, the, uh, the, I didn't know there was more than one. Ah, there are. There are two sets of labia. The labia majora and the labia minora. Major, minor, very self-explanatory terms. <laughs> and this. The clitoris. The clitoris. Jill, why is the clitoris important? Because it's the way to the orgasm. That is correct. Now, do you know that the penis has 4,000 nerve endings in the head of it? Clitoris has 8,000. Hmm. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Only purpose? Pleasure. That is it. So where would this elusive jury still out G-spot be? Where do you think? I thought Somewhere it was in the up, tunnel. Up, yeah, up, and, up and under. Yes, if we had a 3D model, we might be able to insert our hand in and feel the ridge a third of the way in at the top. And that would be where the G spot is. Wait, so there's an actual G spot? You can point to it and say, that's it? You know, there is a spot that's a third of the way in on the front wall of the vagina that is this spongy, bumpy area that's called the periurethral sponge. We think. We say that's where the G-spot may be, but the jury's still out. We don't know for sure. We don't know if every woman has one. We don't really know if any woman cares if mm. they have one. Does that have more nerve endings than the clitoris? No, oh. it doesn't. The most nerve endings are in the front third of the vagina, meaning the, the third that's closest to the outside. But the clitoris is really the, the powerhouse in terms of a pleasure. And actually, one of the coolest things about men and women is that the penis and the clitoris come from exactly the same tissue when a fetus is developing in utero. So it has erectile tissue in it, and it sometimes peeks out of this thing. Any chance you know what this is? The hood. The hood. The clitoral, that's, exa <laughs> no. that's exactly what it is. It's the clitoral hood. It's very well accessorized. <laughs> we come with accessories. I bet you didn't know that. Jill and Mark, you have been such great sports, and I want you to know you are not the only ones I put on the spot for this important vulva and vagina discussion. Check out what I discovered in my Mom on the Street report. So tell me, what, what did you learn about your 
bodies growing up. Did you learn about your vulva and vagina? I I don't think I did. I think I got a book uh, from my parents that I think my brother probably read to me, which is probably awkward. Um, but I don't think we I learned anything specific. I just knew that there was a vagina and there was a penis, and one gender had one and one gender had the other. Would your partner know the difference between the vulva and vagina? He would know the difference between a Volvo and a Volkswagen, <laughs> but not the vulva and the vagina. You know, I mean, we laugh at this and we call things by their wrong names, but for me, this has so many implications. I mean, if we don't have accurate terms for our bodies, then we don't know how to talk about pleasure with partners. We don't know how to say, touch us here, this is what turns us on, especially if we're calling parts by different names. How do we talk to doctors? How do we talk about good touch and bad touch when it comes to raising our children? So I'm, I'm a big believer in the more we know about our bodies, uh, the better off we'll be and the more pleasure we'll have. And for those of you who are watching, that might mean going home, taking a mirror and looking at your vulvas, seeing what's there, seeing what's normal for you and seeing what feels good to you. So thank you guys so much for joining me and thanks to all of you for watching. Did we teach you anything new today about your bodies? Will you have better conversations with your partners or your medical professionals? Let us know, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube because you don't want to miss a single episode of Mom Ed in the Bedroom. See you next time. <laughs>